Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining another one of our business uh, talk, tech talks, excuse me. And we are a online and small business, uh, in-person small business technology enthusiast group. We are right now meeting online the whole time. Eventually, I'd like to get to a point where we can meet maybe once a month or so in person somewhere as well, if we, if we can make that happen. Uh, the focus of this group is to help each other discover technology, marketing, website tools, tactics that are helping each other's businesses grow and improve the businesses that we are in today. So we're going to focus on having uh, potentially an uh, expert coming in talking about something that they know uh, that they are very familiar with, like we had WordPress last week, and then uh, Anil talked about the uh, growing business sustainability over a period of time uh, some some weeks ago. So things like that we're going to do more of and I'm going to have uh, different topics set up on a weekly basis so people are aware of what's coming up and things like that. I know that uh, there are several people I got a message from this morning saying they couldn't make it, but we'll still record this session and put it online for the folks that missed it and uh, we'll, we'll keep on going from there. So we're going to focus on educating and helping each other succeed versus focusing on sales and things like that in terms of selling to each other. Of course, we can talk about sales. So as I said, we will have the session recorded and it will also be available on my website as well as on YouTube and things like that. So, uh, you know, you can, uh, of course, revisit it if you, if you like. And I'd like to talk about how to grow this group as well. So I'd, I'd like some help uh, from you guys at some point. But today's session, I figured we would have a open forum talking about how we're doing business in this COVID time. It's, of course, very difficult for a lot of our businesses to be moving forward. There's a lot of issues around people uh, and businesses not having money to spend for, you know, for really anything, for a lot of things. So. So I figured uh, today could be an open session around talking about how are we as a business moving forward and what are we doing in terms of marketing and what's working so other people can learn from us that uh, whatever's working for each other and maybe we can take uh, that forward and use that in our own business. So how does that sound to everyone? Sounds good. Okay, great. So does anyone have any thoughts uh, to start off with? Do, well, well, let's just go um, talk about each person. So Anil, so what are you focusing on right now to improve your business and bring more business to your, your company at the moment? Yeah, I mean, um, as rightly said, it's, it's, it's a very difficult time for all of us uh, mm. because the entire business life cycle has changed based on the situation that's happening in, in, in out there. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a, from what I think it's the best time uh, apart from uh, focusing on um, improving, uh, or sorry, improving your customer base, it's also a good time to invest on building your business foundation. Um, because what normally happens is uh, most of uh, them continue to focus on the sales cycle on the sales part of the business to grow their customers or, or acquire new customers but normally what happens is the focus is very limited when it comes to building the business foundation and what normally happens is that getting a deal is one thing but executing and implementing and providing the services is another thing and that's where where most of the business uh, shall uh, fall short in terms of providing that quality service uh, to the customers and building that relationship and building that brand and test within the customer. So it's a good time to invest on that in, in terms of building a strong foundation. Uh, that's something that I am continuing to do and will continue to do for a long time because it's, it's our part of, as I said, it's, it's, it's purely part of building a very strong brand for yourself. Mm -hmm. um, that is one thing that I'm pretty much focusing on and will continue to focus. The other thing is, is I'm, I'm pretty much focusing on marketing because that is something that I feel that needs a lot of attention for my business. Uh, so I'm um, exploring various uh, strategies strategies that can be used uh, from a marketing standpoint uh, mm. that can elevate my business. For example, I'm looking at um, exploring the platforms that I'm pretty currently using uh, for social media. Uh, mm -hmm. So for example, I'm using LinkedIn and Twitter. Now LinkedIn, uh, 
one of the things that I realized is that 70% of the uh, users are outside US. So Did you say LinkedIn is 70% users outside, outside of US? Yes, really? exactly. Wow, yeah, exactly. I didn't know that. That's crazy. So, so for example, so from the numbers that I've seen is around 670 million, uh, 70 million users are there overall in LinkedIn and out of which only 167, 67 are there in US. Wow. So, so that's something that I realized. And, uh, but again, it's, it's a good platform. I mean, in 167 million or 200 million dollar, uh, million uh, users uh, mm. are pretty much pretty much high and it's just a big scope for you to target your ideal customers. But then that's a question mark, right? From a longer run perspective, uh, how good or how effectively can I use this platform where the scope is very limited uh, because it's a good platform for B2B, but then I need to change my approach to make it more effective uh, to target my uh, B2B customers or, or the ideal customers. The other thing that I'm looking at is uh, Twitter. Now uh, Twitter, uh, is is again i'm looking at how can i make it more effective through the content that i'm posting on twitter how can i make it more engaging how can i increase my followers so those are some things that i'm really focused on uh, when it comes to um, the social media platforms other things that i'm uh, looking forward to is uh, from a website per se and you you know that i've been very focused on especially a website as to how can I also use my website as, as the first point of contact uh, to my customers and how can I engagement, how can I convert them? Um, because tra generating traffic to your website is one thing, but unless and until you don't have the content, you don't have the call to actions or unless and until you don't have a content that is more engaging or that talks to your customer, the conversion doesn't happen. So, that is also some very important area that all of us needs to focus in terms of how do I improve my conversion rate? Because end of the day, that, that is what it matters when it comes to business. Uh, just pushing traffic to your website doesn't work out. Unless exactly. you don't, you're mm -hmm. not able to convert them. So that's another area that I'm focusing on. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and, and when I'm talking about these two parameters that I'm, that are my priority in terms of my focus for marketing. I'm also working out an entire marketing strategy, uh, right. or marketing plan mm -hmm. to uh, increase my awareness, build my brand, and also increase my uh, clients as such. Mm. Okay. Wow. There, there's a lot of things that you're focusing on there. That's, that's great. Thank you for sharing that. Let's uh, dig into that a little more in a minute after we hear from Joanna. Do you have um, some thoughts about how you're, increasing business and trying to make sure that you have more customers coming to your business, things like that. Um, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> we all uh, are. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I've been, I've been looking a lot into, um, face using Facebook mm. more because I, I actually don't like Facebook very much. I, I prefer Instagram and I use LinkedIn as well. Um, and, and I am in a difficult, kind of a difficult situation because I'm stuck because I'm part of a franchise, mm. uh, but I'm a graphic designer and I have all this background in branding and I want to make the look of my brand stand out. That's, that's what I do. But when I, but being in a franchise, I have to obey all their guidelines and I have to be consistent with their branding. Um, but at the same time, I have to stand out because they're, 200 percent source and how do I make myself different mm. so I was advised to use Facebook for that because okay. Facebook is directly connected with my personal profile mm -hmm. so people will be able to see that okay so I'm, so I'm trying to create uh, uh, like a, something that people can understand that there is a graphic designer and a graphic design business that is attached to this full store and somehow they need to see it as two separate things, but that they can find it in the same place. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So, um, are you, are you able to like have a different identity almost like have, have a different brand for your, your two different uh, entities that you're working on in terms of the post net and your graphic design? I could, that's something that I want to do in the future. 
But right now, I don't want to take attention away from PulseNet. I want to use my graphic design to bring mm. customers in. Got so it. if okay. someone doesn't need a, a huge project, maybe they just need clicking on a file or they just need me to do a layout on a brochure and then I'm going to print 5,000 brochures for them. The printing is the main, yeah. the main thing I need to focus on because that's mm -hmm. what, what brings me revenue. Sure. So I need to use... I need to, I need to use my, my design skills almost as a bait mm. to attract. Okay. Okay. To me. And so that they see that it's worth um, doing it with me. Right. Yeah. So, so I just, um, Joanna, so one of the things I wanted to ask you is um, when you say Facebook, have you looked at what is, have you defined your demographics uh, when it comes to your customers? Yes, exactly. That's what I've been working on. Okay, because Facebook, from what I've seen, is um, uh, fifty-one percent of the people are from the age thirteen to seventeen. Mm -hmm. So you might need to think on that because more than fifty percent is between thirteen to seventeen. So are those the your ideal customers that you want to target? No, but but I but well, forty-year-old 40 women are also on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting because lately there's been a lot more statistics around how people that are younger are going away from Facebook and getting to places like TikTok, which of course is potentially going to get banned at this point in the US, but who knows. But it's, it's kind of an interesting point that you make, Anil, because the shift in social media, I feel like from what I've heard in the news is kind of going away, or the, the younger people are going away from Facebook and going into places like Instagram, of course, that's super popular, as well as TikTok and things like that, where older people like my parents' generation are staying on Facebook or rather getting more on Facebook. So it's a really interesting uh, point, especially for Joanna, who's trying to market to, I, I, who, who's your, who is your ideal client, uh, customers, Joanna? It's a small business, it's like a one person or up to, up to five employees. So I focus a lot on realtors. Mm -hmm. Realtors are good. They do a lot of printing. They need to communicate with customers. So there's a lot that I can do for them from mm -hmm. branding to printing and, and mailing and just, you know, like direct mail campaigns and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. So um, have you, and, uh, Joanna, have you used, uh, do you know Alignable? Yeah, I'm on it. Yes. On it. Okay. okay. But I don't use it very much. Do you recommend um, yeah, because I think I, I think there's a lot of people, small business on Alignable, and there's a lot of communication or engagement that happens in that platform, especially when it comes to uh, uh, your kind of services, uh, graphic designers or printings, mm -hmm. um, uh, real estate, um, coaching, yoga sessions. So there are a lot of small businesses which you can actually target. Okay. So that is something that you might want to look at and try to experiment. Uh, the other thing... Um, I'm not sure if you are also using Fiverr as a platform yeah. where you can um, showcase or where you can use as a platform to sell your services because Fiverr is, is very popular. A lot of people go onto this platform for a variety of services. Yeah, I know. I like to think of myself as, as above Fiverr. Okay. Like I like I like to research. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't I I don't just spit out a logo in five minutes. That's not that's not yeah, how I that's, work. That's no, that's not. fine. I mean, I understand that. You know, you're more yeah based on your expertise and based on mm -hmm. the knowledge and your yeah. your, your price range. Um, yeah, it can also be a platform where there are a lot of people who use who are being quoted as an expert in Fiverr, where they quote high in terms of mm. the quality of the service and their mm -hmm. brand. So yeah. it might be another option that you need, you need not know, quote low based okay. on, on, on the competition, but as an expert, you can quote as high by showcasing some of the work that you have done mm -hmm. on the platform. Mm -hmm. Anil, so, uh, if, if you don't mind me interrupting real quick, can you tell us about Alignable and Fiverr? So the folks that um, don't know about it can uh, understand what that is. Yeah, so Alignable is, 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 is again, a, a small business platform where it can, people, uh, especially small business owners can engage to uh, generate leads. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's not a very popular platform. I'm on the, the Alignable, but what I've seen is there's a lot of engagement that happens. There are a lot of questions that have been asked by, uh, small business owners on different kind of situations or recommendations that people ask for. So it's a good platform to try out. Uh, it's, it's nothing, there's nothing wrong or nothing 
that can go wrong in trying that platform because mm-hmm. most of the users are there on alignable and uh, and and especially from what the experience that i've seen for example i got in touch with a marketing agency through fiverr uh, sorry through alignable okay uh because i just posted a question saying that hey do some does somebody know know about some of the good marketing agencies that can um help for small okay. business so Great. there were a lot of good suggestions came in mm-hmm. so it a good platform to make uh, or take an advantage of to brand your business right you can there is a lot of options to market and there is a lot of options to you know list your uh, business to different directories through alignable mm-hmm. it comes with a cost but then it it's it's a good worth to try whether it's going to work or not that's a different ball game but it's a good platform to at least look at and uh check it out yeah uh, great fiverr yeah fiverr and i mean it is a very popular platform i mean it's a global platform because it's not just within the us all across uh, it's a globe as i said it's a global platform and people across the globe have uh, can give and offer their services and have different price range and things like that but the only thing that i, I think uh, the disadvantage of fiverr is that um the communi- especially for me from what i experience is mm-hmm. uh, i feel the communication is limited only over chat mm-hmm. uh you cannot call a take a phone or you can call you cannot have uh, verbal communications with the vendor that you're working with and okay. that is sometimes a bit challenging especially mm-hmm. when you're working with working on your complex projects and things like that mm-hmm. but apart from that yes there is a competition when it comes to the pricing because it's a global platform and across different countries have can lower their prices based on the services that can afford, that they're providing for mm-hmm. example like joanna is a graphic designer and her comfortable price range must be probably must be some 100 to 300 dollars per hour for example mm-hmm. but countries from other countries can provide the same kind of services at a very lower cost yeah definitely a lot so, lower mm-hmm. yeah so mm-hmm. that's the challenge but again uh it it's it's a good platform to again explore uh and show as an expert for yourself mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah thank you anil for sharing that so what i've heard from folks that use an, uh the fiverr uh or even upwork so in my experience upwork seems to be slightly elevated but i i don't know i don't use them that much but uh usually i see a lot more people that are based in the us in upwork versus you know in fiverr i heard for example a a cpa last year to do my taxes in upwork and that was a pretty good experience for myself and uh, so you, you can you can shop around for a, l- a little bit definitely and i the thing that i've heard though about these platforms is like you're saying anil a lot of times when there are you're trying to talk with people that are potentially outside of the country or don't know english as well the communication can be very challenging especially if you're working on a on a complex project like you you are sometimes anil so that's definitely t- to be taken into account when you're hiring someone here but i think that could be something that might work for you joanna so i uh, like um like anil said y- y- there are some folks that are kind of like the pros on the on these platforms i i don't really know the way you would become a pro but i think you have to have enough referral or um reviews or something in order to do that so as you see like these are definitely higher prices and there are people that are very good at what they do and you know they're they've, they've been doing it for a while so if you can become one of those for example pro people then you can definitely charge a lot more for your services so that could be something to to that could be helpful like anil said yeah thank you mhm yeah is there anything else that um, you want to share joanna no <laughs> okay so going back to anil so one of the things that you said was you're trying to convert your clients from your business to or from your website to um like twitter or linkedin one of the things this is something you may be able to look into is one of the things that i found um uh, some uh, months ago when i was doing research on my business is around retargeting and how apparently when you're doing marketing it takes like 7 8 times for someone to see your business your logo your what you do before they will purchase or sign up as a client so it's really one of those interesting things to me is like 
when you know, and someone visits your website the first time, they're probably not going to you know sign up, especially if it's a high price uh, a business or a product like our services, for example. And so they'll probably go away, think about it, and you know you know come back and maybe sign up if they see your service again. So one of the things that I decided to do for my business, and it's, I'm not sure if this would be helpful for you, but I created a uh, what's called a lead magnet. So I created a, a big PDF, and I think you've seen it. The the um, the website best practices. Basically, it's I, I spend a lot of hours to put information in a document that helps people figure out, okay, these are the things that I could do to improve my, my website, for example. And so that's free information. People can you know, do it themselves if they choose to, but it, there may be one or two percent, uh, percent or hopefully more <laughs> of people that may say, oh, okay, like this is something that, um, uh, you know, Mo is a pro at, so maybe I, I should go hire him to do that work. So that's what I did. And I haven't seen that always on the team. Sorry? Will you send that to me? I haven't seen that video. Oh yeah, sure, of course. Um, you can actually go to my website if you uh, put in um, put in your email address. You'll be put into the email list for uh, for that, so you'll see a lot more information. So I, I did that lead magnet, and I did a few other things that could be sort of going along with it. So it's helpful. Okay. So that's something that might be. I don't. Know, do you already have something like that, uh, Anil? Yeah. So for example, so um, as, so what you're trying to communicate is all about educating your customers. Stuff, mm. right mm -hmm. um, and that's precisely something that i'm focusing on because uh, cool. through my website also um i have kind of uh written articles uh, that are that will be given away free for example mm -hmm. the one that mm -hmm. i have on my website is a free guide on strategic planning mm -hmm. and then user has the option to actually take part of uh, be part of the survey and um download that uh, free guide mm -hmm. um uh, and then i have uh, also uh, built up a couple of another articles that will that will be giving away for free. So if you mm -hmm. scroll down on the same mm -hmm. page, home page, if you scroll down. Okay. So go down, go down, uh -huh. go down. Go Are these? Down. Uh, no, no, go down. Uh, so that is further? my work. So if you go down okay. further, go down. So uh -huh. here. So, oh, the survey. Oh, yes, I saw, so, I saw this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if they complete the survey, then they can get a free guide on uh, strategic planning. Got it. Now, okay. this is something, uh, this is something that I'm really... Uh, uh, looking at because I'm still testing out whether this survey is working or not. Mm. And I'm looking at my Google Analytics and seeing as to how many people are going at uh, mm -hmm. this page and, and also uh, how many people are taking the survey. So I'm in, mm. you know, I'm in a testing period and trying to test whether the survey is working or not. If it is not working, then I will replace this with something else. But I just what's, to give a free guide. what's your experience uh, so far? So far, only uh, three people have uh, complete the survey uh, mm -hmm. within the one month. So, so, so my target is to wait for another one month and see mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. if it is still not working, if there's nobody else who's going to take the survey, then I'm going to just remove this and then just keep as, hey, just download this free planning guide and then take their details. Just Got it. And email. It's interesting. So um, are you, f I'm sure you're familiar with A-B testing. So what I would yes. um, say is that maybe try something slightly different, uh, maybe like a different image or a different wording and see if mm -hmm. that maybe potentially brings in more yeah. people to, to sign up, to look at the, or uh, fill out the survey. That could yeah. be something that could be something that works a little bit um, uh, if you try it in a different way. Cause you know, it's kind of interesting because people will be, people will be attracted to certain things based on their past and experiences and you know, what they like. So yeah. like even a different color or the different image may say, oh, exactly. okay, that's something that could be, uh, that's something I want, you know? So I, I would say if you try something a little bit different and see, kind of compare the difference and see if that works uh, a little bit better. One of the things that I wanted to um, say is around retargeting. Are you, are you focusing on retargeting ads or yes. really things like, okay, good. Yeah. Okay. So, so that is going to be part of my marketing plan that I'm working awesome. on right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. So great. hopefully there should be some some positive things awesome. on that. Yeah, great. The other thing is, uh, uh, I'm not sure if you know a platform called as Eloquence. E L O Q U E N C E. E L O. I don't know that one. E Q U E N C E. Um, so, uh, so it's called uh, it's this one. E L O Q U E N S dot com. Oh, E N S. Okay. E N S. Yeah, so okay. it's also a good platform to build your credibility. Mm -hmm. So, for example, uh, the same strategic planning guide I have mm -hmm. um, uploaded here. 
mm-hmm. and uh, within a week i got a pretty good you know i got a five rating uh, oh wow okay cool yeah so it's just another good platform to utilize on your skill set so mm-hmm. should, like for more for example you can you have a lot of content about your best practices on website and all those things it's a good platform to put it here mm-hmm. uh, for free or based on even you can actually um, Co- or, or like you can actually price some of the best documents if you feel that you know people it is a good document that oh, okay. can, Great. like for example you can see here uh, there is a guide or rolling 13 week cash, cash flow forecast for 125 dollars mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. so you can give it for free to build a credibility but at the same time if it's something good that you have that can be shared as 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 a revenue through ebook kind of a thing you mm-hmm. can do that as well that's great it's another good platform to build your credibility mm-hmm. okay fantastic yeah, that's really cool. I uh, we have a uh, we're just going to finish up right now. So um, thank you guys so much for sharing today, Anil. Uh, I really appreciate all the the tools that you shared with us. We will put it on the website and um, uh, put your name there in case someone else sees it. So if they want to hire you, of course they can. Same thing with Joanna. So we'll we'll do that on my website there. And uh, so what else? Oh yeah. So the last thing I want to close up with is what are the topics that you think you guys think would be helpful for us to have in the future that, um, that I, I can, I can sort of line up. So basically my target right now is to say, okay, I'm going to have this in the, for the next four weeks and then I can add on more topics. So people are aware of it before they come to these sessions. Uh, because I think that's been one of the problems that I haven't really set up topics earlier. So do you, do you guys have thoughts around topics you'd like to talk about? Just throw out yeah. like names. I'd like to go deeper into WordPress. Okay. Uh, if there's more. And then uh, I also, I'm very curious about SEO and hashtags and all and the whole thing being relevant. Okay. So people can find me. Mm. Okay. How people can find you, how people... Yeah. Okay, um, I, I'm, I, was, I was talking to Anil last time about going deeper into WordPress and I, uh, he had a really good point around that um, not to make this, these sessions more, like, more complicated because I, I feel like I'm losing some people um, mm. uh, when I get into that. So I was thinking of potentially doing uh, like the score webinars that I do, maybe do deeper into the WordPress there because that would be very focused specifically on that topic. Okay. Or maybe there's one week that I can do the the more deep deep dive sessions. So definitely uh, can, can do that as well. Mm, any other topics that you would like to hear about, Joanna? If I don't... Um... Okay, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, anything. <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah, so I wrote down the SEO hashtags and yeah. how people can find you. That's a great one. We'll yeah. definitely talk about that at and some if point. There are any, if there are hooks, like uh, things that work more, that work better for Facebook ads or for Instagram posts, but it's all on the same subject of, of being found, of, of showing up, like how to, how to crack mm-hmm. the algorithms. Okay, <laughs> great. I don't have a lot of experience on um, social media in terms of like what works better in Instagram and Facebook. So I, uh, and, but I know some people that do, so I will get them to join our sessions at some point and talk about that. Awesome. All right, uh, Anil, so what are your thoughts? What kind of topics would you like? Uh, well, I think, um, I think uh, based on uh, each one of us and based on where we are in our business, uh, I think it it's, would be good to create a theme. For example, create a theme as called as marketing. Uh, and, and within that, as uh, John also was talking about, let's uh, have different topics within this theme. Uh, how can I use social media? Um, how can I make uh, marketing much more effective for my business? Because that's the area that each one of us need to focus on when it comes to um, spreading awareness about our business and building a brand for our business. So I think it's a good start. It will be a good start for us to focus on marketing as the core topic mm-hmm. and then build subtopics within that because now then everybody will be engaged because everybody has this problem mm-hmm. of elevating their business and sure. marketing would be a good point to start and then bring up subjects uh, and create subjects every week so that we can talk about uh, those things that are challenging for us as of today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Perfect. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and um, 
also, I think we should know beforehand if we're going to be watching, if you're going to do a presentation or if we're going to have a conversation like this. Mm -hmm. But if we're going to be talking, I think we should be on camera. Okay, that's a good point. But I yeah. can't be on camera the way I look right now. <laughs> uh, it's the same. I'm yeah. sure you're fine. <laughs> so that's... I just need to prepare. <laughs> no, it's that's... the same here. I mean, I'm not camera ready, and that's precisely why I didn't switch on my camera. <laughs> um. So, so I was thinking of doing like th out of the, the four weeks in the month, right? I was thinking one week, it could be just totally open and people just chatting with each other like this. I think it was a really good session today because we really got to engage with one another. And then, then maybe the next three weeks would be something where someone comes in, tells us about something or, you know, one of us can come in and talk, talk about what we did that worked in our business. Like some of the tools that you shared with us today, Anil, was really, really interesting. I, I didn't know about um, a couple of them. So very, very cool to, to learn about that as well. So yeah, so let, that's awesome. I will send out uh, some notes about this. I'll, I'll, I'll promise I'll be better at sending out those notes about what we're going to do earlier ahead of time. So the weekly emails that I'm sending, I'll, I'll probably put it in there and then I'll put it also on Meetup. So hopefully that will be enough notice for you guys. But thank you so much. I really appreciate you all joining and take your time to share what you're doing. And hopefully these are helpful for you as well. And we'll continue doing more of these to help each other out. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, guys. Have a good weekend. Awesome. Thank you, Mo. Thank you all. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.